<laughs> I don't know. I kind of felt like uh, well, anyone who doesn't understand that reference deserves to be offended anyway. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because they're offensive in their ignorance. There you, yeah, there you go. Now I just gotta find where the fuck the rail is. This fucking place is huge. Okay, if you're at the all all navigation should start at the supply bunker. Yep. Uh, so when you turn right, and you should be look uh, at the top of the stairs. You should be, I mean, the the supply bunker stairs. You should be looking right at the uh, departure station. All right, the supply bunker stairs go up, go right, and I should be looking. Oh at wait, the no, I mean, I'm sorry. I, I when I say right, I mean I'm usually like looking forward, and then I back up before I start to navigate. You know what I mean? So I back up the stairs and then turn right. Alright, I got you. I see it. I'm going to build another one of those uh, little stoves I had before. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Alright. Get in the thing, hit the button. Doesn't go anywhere. Get confused. Are you, uh, is your minecart all the way against the back wall? Yeah, it was. Let's try it again. Nope, it dropped away from the back wall. Fucker. I'll figure it out. There we go. I have this obsession with deleting corners. What is that? I just want to like corners. Yeah, like the uh, the outside corners. Like I always, I don't want like a perfectly square structure at any point. So it's like I just want to delete these corners. Right. This is like the wrong game for a dislike of corners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's going to be agonizing. Oh, well, I'll get over Your anti-OCD where you need everything to be messy is going to really fuck with you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, the thing is, everyone builds perfectly cubicle structures at first, and then they break away from more asymmetrical stuff. Mm -hmm. Did you go... Oh, yeah. Skip, did you keep riding the rail? Yeah, I'm still on the rail. Uh, do you, you're not going to the grinder, right? You saw the new wooden building. I don't think I saw it. Okay, then you probably passed it up because I saw your nameplate and you just kept going. Yeah, it's All relatively right. small, but it's like right at the base. Yeah, yeah, yeah. now I'm underground, so yeah. I have a feeling I've gone too far. <laughs> oh. All right, so let's just yeah, take you, that off the track. The, uh, when you hit the wooden structure on your way back, make sure to break your... Uh, Minecart with a tool. Which, by the way, I just want to throw this out there. Um, every year uh, for the Kentucky Derby, I gamble, right? Um, for the last five years, gambled, lost every goddamn time, right? This year, didn't gamble, picked the winner. Picked the fucking winner. I swear I did. Uh, yeah, it's agonizing. <laughs> it's like the one time I didn't gamble, I won. I got it right. Yep. That's the way it goes, I guess. All right, I see a new wooden structure. Oh, now okay. let's see if I can get the hell out of this before the lag kills me. I see you. Hey, there we go. Got it. Like you're on fire for some reason. All right. There we go. So, we're back, and joining us today is Skeptical Heretic. Hi there. So, what are we going to do today? I don't know. What are we doing? Did you show, did you show Sherhan, uh, Sher, did you show Sherhan the uh, elevator I built? I did not, but it was, it's pretty nice, actually. Yeah, I copied it off of uh, the dropper map. We're building a little, uh, Sherhan's building a little supply depot at ground level. We don't have all those <laughs> teleportations uh, that we had on a bucket server, and I want to keep the server as vanilla as possible. 
So. Love the love the title. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. See, I was. See, I even censored myself. Like, uh, I'm still used to. Like, uh, did you tell Skep about uh, our mission to get banned? Oh uh, uh, yeah, Black yeah. I yeah. Did a little bit. Nice redstone floor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what a waste! <laughs> what a waste! Well, what should I do with it? Like, I, yeah. Dude, I'll show you how to build all sorts of things with that. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, I was working on a digital clock on, like, my single player that, like, kept real time. So if the server stayed up, it would keep time with whatever time zone we set it for. Well, nice. Yeah, see, not only can Skep, uh, not only does has he master the basics, like placing blocks and chewing his food, things that you struggled with, but he yeah. knows how to wire things with redstone as well. So it's nice to finally have someone who's somewhat technically proficient. So beware when you step on pressure plates and shit, because you never know what I did to you. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go back to the tree. I'll show you the, uh, show you the elevator. I don't, until you put windows in, your door will never see use. Yeah, but yeah, unless I'm using it, apparently. It's like That's a Kool-Aid totally man, just, oh yeah. <laughs> I do not. Here. Take a cart. I'll stand here to make sure you guys don't go the wrong way. Go ahead. I see no cart. Yeah, I threw it. It's in your inventory. Okay, good. Okay. okay, I'll just give you a little push. <laughs> Lag is so funny. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh well, did you forget something? Why are you back? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. There's a trick we can uh, do to make these one way rails. That way we can just leave them always on. And have the carts like dock up. Oh, yeah. Yeah, feel free. Uh... I'll modernize our subway. There you go. Yeah, you, you can reroute it, rewire it, whatever you need to do. I'll put a little sign up if it's down for maintenance. <laughs> that way it can be like DC. Uh oh. So I watched uh, American Psycho for the first time. Oh, that was your uh, first time seeing that? Yeah, that's yeah. what I just said. Yeah, I'm just surprised. Yeah. That was the first time you saw it. Yeah. Well, you know, keeping up with pop culture references can be a full-time job. There's always some movie you haven't seen. I don't watch shit anymore. Yeah. Like, I think I've seen maybe one or two new movies, and that's about it. Usually, I just wait till that shit comes out on demand now. I just uh, I use the Pirate Bay like most people use Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except Pirate Bay has a hell of a lot more content. Mm -hmm. All right, so go ahead, uh, come over here, Sarah. I'll show you. Now you'll notice that a lot of our supplies didn't carry over, so we're gonna have to gather a lot of basic materials again. Mm -hmm. But that's half the game anyway. Sure. Pretty laggy up here in this damn tree. And uh, I think what we need to do is just gather basic supplies and get ready for us our uh, assault. What do you the... need? Uh, everything, everything. So, do uh, some iron. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, mining would be. You know what we should probably do is. Uh... Well, there's like a hundred iron. Oh, nice. Oh, okay. There we go. We're done. So, oh, yeah. I got another 22 gold and I got four diamond. I'm going to hold on to the diamond. I'll need it for yeah, diamonds, toy later. Yeah, we treat diamonds as though you're your personal supply. Have you been enchanting stuff or using the grinder? Not yet. Okay, well, those are, those are all open. I think what we might do is make this uh, a concentric, two concentric pools, lava in the middle, and then water around. So if you dip into the lava by accident, you can just step over the water easily. 
But uh, yeah, if you find what we're gonna, I'm gonna do is use this lava pool as a, a little fuel depot kind of thing. If you're if you're going down one of your branch mines and you find a bunch of lava, uh, and you, I'm gonna make some buckets right now for this. Really? Purpose. Welcome to the mines of Moorcock. You, you read that before. <laughs> Wow. Well, they're way better than the mines of Lescock. <laughs> More is better. That's the American way. Yeah, of course. All right. Anyway, if uh, what you can do is take buckets down one of these branch mines, and if you find lava, and you almost certainly will, fill up your inventory with lava and come back and bail the bail it into this reservoir. Right, and then uh, we'll do nine tenths of our smelting and cooking here uh, because the lava is so much more efficient. So I left uh, a bucket of lava in the chest too from yeah, my fine. earlier exploits. Oh, and so then, if you get a, I gave you all my iron. If you get a couple of buckets, I'll show you where to go. There's a great spot right down the way from here. Oh, I'm, I'm sure there's lava everywhere here. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that now. Actually, uh, also, Serhan, new rule: um, no lava in the tree. Uh, I know that we came here just to get away from the rules of the server, but a few common sense guidelines apply, like no fire in the street. The, you know, in the big fire. wooden structure. Yeah. yeah. Smokey the Bear says no lava in the goddamn tree. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I'll go ahead and show me the lava pole. Give me some. Uh, oh, all right. 60 Give me some. Buckets. Yeah. Excellent. You see, you can see it like right from. Where'd you go? Oh, right behind here, there's a whole shitload. Oh, yeah. I don't really want to break it down, I don't here, think. Here, I, I, I got it. Yep, there it is. There so it's in the room for you. Okay, cool. So, uh, what have you guys been up to? I was building that really uh, shitty structure down there, earlier. It'll That's come about in it. Yeah, it'll come in useful. <laughs> Uh, also, I can build some, uh... I just didn't, like, really know where to begin in the tree. Pretty much. Oh, by the way, I need I need some sort of tool. I don't have shit at the moment. Let me see. I think I got... Nope, I got shovels. Shovels, rakes, and implements of destruction. Alright. All right. Kick me I'd a couple made, pockets. I made some picks earlier, but, uh... I died somehow. Don't remember how. Somehow. Yeah. Yeah, Did I, I see you fall out of the tree earlier? You may have. That sounds exactly like something would have happened. Oh, man, this is amazing. This is more fuel than you have in tech it. Yeah, look at how far back it goes, too. Yeah, this is, this is going to be ridiculous. So there you go. I found this. I almost burnt my face off earlier, so... Oh, that was shitty. What? You oh, I'm so screwed. Oh, run to the water. Oh, run to the water. Uh, okay. I am. And we're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got about half. I, I, I was a little worried there for a minute. I was like, this guy's on fire and he's headed directly toward me. <laughs> this could be Give bad. me a big hug. <laughs> uh, Got any of that iron left? Yeah, I put it in the chest over there. All right, I'm just gonna I'm, mine. I'm just, I'm just gonna mine with a baked potato. It's fine. I'm gonna go up and get some sticks so we can have some picks. I I drop some off? Oh no, I took we took everything last time we came down. Yeah, we took it all upstairs. I did drop down a bunch of torches. Um, it's kind of a how come we lost so much uh of what was uh in those chests in the tree when we transferred everything? Just the data didn't transfer over. That was pretty goddamn hilarious though with the portal. You're like, hey dude, you're griefing. <laughs> it quickly rebuilds the portal that we're not supposed to be building. No, it's, Fucking hilarious! What? What? It was a portal to the Nether. Was a problem. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, for them it was a problem. It was against their server rules. You can't just like set up a Nether portal, right? So they were saying, uh, you know, uh, we were obviously creating several Nether portals. Right? <laughs> right? It was very obvious, and uh, so like, you know, were they all like in your house, like immediately? No, in no. They, I don't. I think we were just underground, just like. Planting them one after another, right? And it was it was only a handful. It was like three or four of them or some shit. And you know, we started making flint and steel to ignite them. And then they're like, "You're you're making a portal." I'm like, no, we're not. We're just putting obsidian in a circle that is perfectly the. It, it's we're, exactly we're the right size. The 
Yeah. Right. We're just going to hang around. around this. So he starts tearing it down, and atheism is like, you're, you're griefing. You're, you're tearing our shit down. And this guy got really worried and just started rebuilding it. And then we ign- <laughs> <laughs> and then we ignited, or I ignited several. He's like, I knew it. I knew it. Well, aren't you a goddamn genius? <laughs> like a bunch of guys building the nether portal. What the fuck do you expect? We were, uh, no. we were like some kind of criminal that's caught red-handed, but we just had a really good lawyer. I mean, we we did we did have uh, we did have several felony assaults and homicides argued down to being rude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they didn't believe the other guy. I kind of felt bad for that dude. <laughs> Be assaulted because they were like, "It's bullshit. Your entire story just sounds shady, dude." I don't, think, <laughs> I don't think that fucking happened. And we're like, "Oh, it happened." That's why fourteen-year-olds aren't allowed to mete out justice. <laughs> like it happened exactly as he's describing. <laughs> he's funny. actually doing a he's actually doing a fantastic job <laughs> as far as the description goes, and you guys are just shitting all over him. It's really not cool. <laughs> All right, you need tools. I got tools for you. Yeah, just a pick or two or whatever. Now I gotta remember how to throw it. I think it's Q. Yep. Yeah. There's pick. And then let me give you another one. And another one. And have a shovel. Nice. And have another pick. Nice. Thank you. You know what? You can make it a big yin and yang and just stick blue wool in one side and red wool on the other side and leave the black obsidian in the middle. And that would be far too much effort. Lava and water. That'd be interesting. The question is, would the lava burn up the, uh, the wool block? Yes, it would. Ah, that's too bad. That's the one thing I do miss, though. Atheist move is the, uh, the spawning. Yeah. <laughs> Came in quite handy, especially for me. The, the thing that I'll miss is the ability to buy and sell stuff. Because I would, I would sell, like, a bunch of cocoa beans and be able to buy uh, diamonds with it. Or just mm-hmm. whatever supplies I need. We bought the fire that they said was impossible to obtain at the, the in-game store. <laughs> I mean, it was, that that was really convenient because, you know, there's always that one thing you're missing. You can buy leaves, though, and I always needed leaves because we built a tree. But, uh, yeah, from now on, we're not going to pay the gold price. We're going to pay the iron price. <laughs> Holy fuck. You know what? I really hate the whole bedrock thing. It's just, it's annoying. Especially when it's like, oh, there's a block I want to mine, and it's entirely surrounded by bedrock, so I oh. can't get at it. Okay, uh, Be right back, guys. So I found this uh, this spot earlier, and it was like six blocks of diamonds. It was, oh, a, nice. I think, yeah, it was a ridiculous amount. You know what I might do? I might have a single chest here with a uh, fortune enchanted pick, and uh, the rule will be, you, you know, you don't do your normal mining with the fortune pick, but if you find diamonds, you come back here, grab it, get multiple diamonds, and then return it. Yeah, that way you get to keep the one you found. That's yours, and the rest you could probably use. Uh, well, I mean, it just pays. I mean, it's just. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But I'd probably just try and get a pick and enchant the shit out of it until I got it. Oh yeah, yeah. But then, like, like I said, I usually I, I've gotten into the habit of keeping. If I get a uh, fortune pick, I just use it just for diamonds. Yeah. Pays for itself. <laughs> 